fractions as division. Fractions as division. Say what? What do you mean fractions are division? This is actually one of my favorite parts of fifth grade math is seeing whether any of you discovered the relationship between fractions and division. Let's dive into the introduction. I want us to think about what fractions are. Let's take this pizza for instance. It's a cheese pizza. It's been cut into eight slices and we've been told that fractions are parts of a whole, that the numerator is the part and the denominator tells us how many pieces the whole has been cut into. And that if we took one piece of this pizza, it would be one eighth. So what about apples? We've been talking about pizza a lot in our videos and I'm gonna transition and talk about apples. Let's say that we have a bushel, a bushel, ooh, that word is hard to say, a bushel of apples and we wanna share it with our friends. There's one of you, and then let's say you have five friends, so that's six people, and a sneaky little raccoon would like to share too. So seven. You have about 58 apples in your basket, and seven people, well, six people and a raccoon to share with. We could write this as 58 divided by seven, and then try to figure out what the answer is because we want to share our fractions. Well, let's move that division problem off to the side for a second and think about it in terms of a fraction, 58 over seven. What is 58 over seven? If we reduce it to a mixed number, it's eight and two sevenths. And interestingly enough, 58 divided by seven is also eight and two sevenths. So fractions are division problems. Let's think about a simpler one. You've got eight apples here, and let's say there's just you and me. We're gonna divide it between the two of us. We know that eight divided by two is four. I would get four apples and you would get four apples. Or we can write it as eight over two, eight seconds, which also is reduced down to four wholes because fractions are actually division problems and division problems are fractions. This is just an introduction to thinking about this idea. It might be new for you. It's a great idea to look at lots of examples and it might take a little while to get comfortable with the idea that fractions can be represented as division or division can be represented as a fraction. If you're still confused, dive into my notes and examples video. Thanks for watching.